Eric the Elf and the Toucan Eric was tending to his garden. He always spent a little time each day tending to the flowers and vegetables to make sure all was growing well. He was just thinking that he might have a hot cup of acorn coffee when a squawky voice from the woods said, Over here! Over here! Although it sounded a bit like a bird, it was no bird Eric had heard before, because it was using normal words, not bird twitter. Eric looked into the trees, but he couldn't see anything. He opened the gate to his garden and walked a little way into the wood. I like your hat! I like your hat! cried the voice. Well, thank you very much, said Eric. My name is Eric the Elf. I don't think we have met before, because I am sure I would have remembered such a distinctive voice. Terry wants a peanut! Terry wants a peanut! the voice cried out. Eric searched in the bushes and the trees, looking high and low. I am afraid I don't have any peanuts, but I do have some hazelnuts which you might like, said Eric, hoping to coax out whoever it was. Suddenly there was a flutter of feathers, and a big black bird with a white waistcoat and the most enormous orange beak Eric had ever seen landed on his shoulder. Hello there. You know, you can talk bird if you want. I will understand what you're saying, said Eric. Oh, that is quite a relief, said the bird. Although I can use words, it is not really what I enjoy, and I have not seen another bird like me for two years since I was taken from the jungle. By the way, my name is Terry the Toucan. Eric returned to his cottage, with Terry perched on his shoulder. As they sat in his kitchen, eating seed cake and drinking acorn coffee, Terry told his story. I was just sitting on a branch, minding my own business, and the next thing I know I am in a net, then in a box, then I ended up in a big town where I was bought by a man who kept me in a cage. He would only feed me if I said one of his words. Well, we are very good at mimicking other animals, us toucans, so I soon learned to talk. But however well I talked, he still kept me in a cage. One day, when it was very warm and sunny, he had opened the windows. And when he opened my cage to put my food in, I took my chance and flew straight out of the window. It took me days flying round and round and getting hungrier and hungrier. But at last I saw these woods, and it was the closest thing to jungle I have seen since I came here. So this is where I've landed. My, what an adventure, declared Eric. I think you will find the wood is a very friendly place, and I promise nobody will try and put you in a cage. After they had eaten their cake, Eric took Terry into the wood and introduced him to Mr. Blackbird, the Crow family, Ollie the Owl, and many other woodland birds. With their help, Terry soon had a very comfortable nest of his own. He kept all his new friends entertained by impersonating their calls and also doing a very cheeky impersonation of Eric the Elf.